Hey, Freeside and Internet at Large. Uh, Josh, aka Crafty Coder, here. Wanted to talk about a uh, headless media center my nephew and I just set up for a Raspberry Pi. The purpose of the project was to take a Raspberry Pi out of a box, uh, run a script, and set it up such that you can plug it into a stereo and then from any uh, tablet or mobile phone be able to turn on streams like for radio, I listen to public radio, but any streaming kind of stuff and uh, also have access to your music either locally stored on an SD card or on your network and uh, I also wanted it to turn on and off the stereo so I didn't uh, have to remember to shut off the stereo every time I wanted to run it. So let's show you guys how it works. Here we have a couple of tablets. This is connected to the Raspberry Pi, which is on Wi-Fi. So we'll pull up a playlist here. We're going to try anyway. Hello. And that just gave it the signal to uh, power up the stereo and start playing. Now here, we have the same thing, except on my wife's iPad. What you'll notice here is that it also says all along the watchtower because it knows where we are. They actually both update, as you can see. And I can use this to turn it down, and you'll see the uh, Kindle catches up. So that's pretty cool. Now, it's plugged into a little stereo in here, and uh, there's the amplifier, there's the Pi, and in that box there is a uh, solid state relay. Now, if my nephew would please hit the stop button, and what happens is the Pi asks a VLC if it's playing. If it says no, then it hits one of the GPI opens and turns it to ground. The solid state relay powers down the amp. And uh, that's pretty much it. You want to hit play for us, eyes? And uh, there you go. It powered up anyway. It's playing the semi-cast. Oh, it's queuing up a uh, public radio off the internet. That's fine, you can leave it. Um, and there it is. So, uh, what, what do we have to share? Uh, I'm going to post up in the blog here the uh, script that my nephew wrote to get it set up, and uh, it contains some code that I wrote to do the GPIO stuff, and uh, it includes uh, drivers for a uh, super cheap $12 Wi-Fi USB dealy that we got on Amazon and uh, I'll also post up the specifics about the solid state relay I chose which I got on Amazon as well not super cheap but not expensive either and uh, you'll have to figure out how to make your stereo power on and off like most stereos these days this one has a soft power so I had to crack it open and find the uh, p-channel MOSFET which controls the uh, actual powering on and uh, short it to ground so that as soon as it got, has mains power it turns on and you'll have to figure out how to do that on your own but you can. Alrighty guys, talk to you later.